Thanks for the MarTech people. I don't know how Syrah and I are going to top that performance from Ali. I have absolutely no idea. So hopefully you'll bear with us. Um, I think we're going to start um, a presentation. Are you guys over there ready to get rid of our faces? <laughs> so I'm quite new to Epsilon, so I thought I'd start by introducing everyone to Epsilon loyalty. I've got 10 minutes and 70 slides. So I'm sure that's going to be really offensive to everybody. What are you doing, Paul? Uh, 10 minutes and 70 slides? Yeah, I just wanted to talk about 50 years of Epsilon, all of our big loyalty programs, Walgreens, Marriott. I was going to tell everybody about that. Yeah, but Paul, our technology just gave us a report, and they said, while this content is relevant, while the audience is right, it's not the right time, it definitely is not the right place. And we're all about making one-to-one -one connections, personalization at scale. So why don't we ask you guys to put your cutlery aside just for a second, pull out your mobile phones if you can, and connect with us one-on-one. -on -one. It will be five minutes tops, I promise. So pull out your mobile phones, please, if you can. Brilliant. So if I could ask everybody uh, to just go to menti.com, it will ask you for a code. Put in the code there and we're gonna do a 10 question quiz on loyalty. So I expect everybody in the room to get every question right. If you're not sure, put someone else's name in and embarrass your colleagues. <laughs> and once you're in, we'll start the quiz. It's 10 that? questions and there is a prize um, and none of them are that difficult, not for an esteemed audience that we have tonight. I think Sarah's gonna press the buttons, so. Uh, we can go so down there we've got 20 23 people registered 26 27 oh, it's going up nicely okay flick to the next one these should be really simple questions um, have we got enough players so we've got oh 70 oh, it's good 75 people ready to play so everybody I'm sorry to interrupt your food this was just bad timing so Hopefully you'll get your food after it's gone cold or something like that. But here we go. We're playing for a nice little prize. Um, Sarah, if you could start the quiz. So the questions are quite easy. So the faster you answer, the more points you'll score. And the person at the end with the most points will win the prize. Very simple. So considering purchasing, using and maintaining loyalty to a product service is an example of and you have four choices there. Customer life cycle, purchasing plan, progressive buying, or elliptical process. Ooh. So 58 people got it right, and a few got it wrong. So next screen. We'll have a look at the leaderboard. And we see here, let's see who's winning. So it's very close at the top between Venture and Alain. Venture was the fastest. Uh, next, next one. So question two. There's only another eight to go after this. Okay, here it comes. True or false? Speech analytics can be used to increase customer loyalty by gleaning important yet unstructured information from customer calls. True or false? Really simple one, quick as you can. So 88 people got that one right. So uh, we get to the next leaderboard. I wish I could tell jokes like Ali to keep the uh, spirit alive here. <laughs> oh. So there we are. Oh, a little change at the top, little change at the top. Uh, next question, please. So question three. Brand loyalty is, psych is psychological bond that one established is, once established is difficult to reverse. What does brand mean? Company name for a product, faithfulness, belief in something, connection, 
or public support for something. Time's up. Oh, big swing there, big swing. And we have a big change at the top of the leaderboard. So, a few more questions to go. Next question, please. Something refers to the number of customers a company has lost over a period of time. Buying cycle, churn rate, business attrition, or monthly loss. And it's churn rate, so most of the audience got that one right. Well done. Got a mic now, that'd be a bit easier. So, next question, please, Samarat. You looks like you're getting a little bit ahead there of everybody. So, question number six. According to some experts, which of the following is not appropriate technique for call center agents to build customer loyalty? It's not. Listen actively, stay positive, offer an apology, or transfer to a supervisor. Well done, yeah, good answer. It looks like Sam Rat's smashing these answers. Melissa. Yeah, and Melissa's back in second. So question seven of ten. I'll let Sarah say a few. How much on average does a lost customer record cost a company in the event of a data breach? 147 drums, 293 drums, 690 drums, or 918 drums? Not bad. Yeah, pretty good. We are giving away prizes at the end of this all, one, so. One prize. <laughs> um, all right, the eighth question. I hope you guys are having fun. Which of these is not a best practice for a company trying to retain customers following a data breach? Offer restitution, establish good data policies internally, deflect blame by keeping information from other customers, have the marketing department give a quick response. Oh wow, that's pretty straightforward. Well done. I, you know, I don't think anybody needs to swap names. This audience is very smart. Sri Lakshmi, bouncing away to the top. Super job. Question number nine. According to experts, which of these should not be a component of a successful loyalty program? Epsilon, organize and use data correctly, train all employees in the details of the program, entice all customs, re customers regarding, regardless of their level of profitability. Good, for all who said Epsilon, that's correct, because it is not, um, it's not a component of choice, it's an essential component. So well done, thank you for answering. Right, so who can we? It's close at the top. 
Okay, Sri Lakshmi, where did you come from? Oh, well done. That's the last question. The last question for some comic humor. I'm going to hand it over yeah. to Paul. It's not really comic, but it's, a, it's an easy or a guess question. Who said loyalty is a 24-hour proposition 24-7? It's not a part-time job. Was it Mike Tyson, Jonathan Moyer, Margaret Thatcher, or Priyanka Chopra? And, and this, this one uh, will announce the winner. So all 10 questions. Well done to those who got that. That was a tough one. So let's see on the final leaderboard who's going to collect this lovely Mal of Emirates voucher for a reasonable sum of money, 500 dirhams. And the winner is Sri Lakshmi. Do you want to come up and collect the prize? Congratulations, well done. Pass this finger. Do you want to see a picture? Can we do a picture?